Welcome to Mind, Body and Soul. I am your host, John Morris. From the time we are born, we learn that there are consequences to everything in life. If we play with a rattlesnake, we will get bit. If we gamble and are foolish with our money, we will lose it. If we put our hand in the fire, we will get burnt. This past week saw another example of this. What may be a joke and simple humor to one can be deeply painful and upsetting to another. One breeds the other. The domino effect, if you will, the snowball that turns into an avalanche. In this instance, there cannot be a painful slap in the face without first a form of instigation. The events of that night were tragic. And in one moment, one man gave up control and returned to a mindset of how situations used to be dealt with in the 1800s. Consequences are a powerful thing. We reap what we sow, more than what we sow, and always later than what we sow. Sow poison ivy in the ground, and poison ivy is what you shall see. Sow tulips and roses in the ground, and that too is what you shall see. While many people defend Chris Rock and condemn Will Smith, I suggest we take a look at the deeper picture. Take a look at what Hollywood or society or even our world has become. When is it ever acceptable to poke fun at another's infirmities, illness or battles? Where will it end? Poking fun at a cancer patient, perhaps? A leukemia sufferer? How about a veteran who's lost both his legs? My friend, there is a very fine balance between being humorous and being cruel. And what you think is humor, another may just have had their greatest battle exposed and made fun of. Ponder upon these things, reflect upon them. Namaste, my friends. God bless.